Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use the digital content provided by Mosaic Education in Zoom software. I'll also show you how to create a live connection with your students and how to hold a virtual lesson with them. Zoom is a program designed in the US, available at zoom.us. You can sign up for free at that address. That is, Enter your email address to create a free user account. You'll be sent an activation link to the email address you entered. Click on it to create your user account. After creating a user account, you have to fill in some personal information. Once that's done, the page offers to install the desktop application to your computer. It looks like this. You can create a new meeting or join an existing one. You can also schedule a meeting and share your screen. First, I'm going to show you what students see when they join a meeting that their teacher has created. To do that, they also need to sign up at zoom.us and install the desktop application. They'll have to click on Join and then enter the ID for the meeting in the window that opens. The ID will be shared with them via Facebook, Skype, email, or some other platform by their teacher. The teacher can also send their students a link that they can open or insert into this field to join the meeting. I'll create a new meeting now, and I'll be the host. At the bottom, you'll find a toolbar. That's where you can invite your students. I'll soon tell you how. You can also check the participants who have already joined the meeting. Use this button to share your screen. You can also open a chat window and use it to send written messages. Importantly, you can also record the meeting with sound and video and send it to your students later or watch it later yourself. You can add reactions to the lesson. The easiest way to invite your students is to first click on Copy URL. That generates a link to the meeting. The link is copied to the clipboard, and that's what I'll send to my students. I've just sent the link to a few helpers who'll join the meeting. Let's check who's already joined to show you how to hold a lesson via Zoom. Here's Jolt, the first participant. Hi, Jolt. Please wave and say hi to everyone. Great, Ildiko has joined too. Let's wait a bit more to see who else joins the meeting. While we wait, I'll talk about these two buttons in the bottom left-hand corner. You can see your own microphone and video. You can mute your microphone whenever you need to. Right now, the participants can't hear what I'm saying but they can see my lips moving. Can you hear what I'm saying? They're not reacting, so they can't hear me. But now they'll hear me and nod. You can hear me, right? Right, very good. I can also click on the other button to stop the camera. So the participants won't see me when I do that. I recommend that everyone, teachers and students too, join with video. Since it's much easier to work during a lesson if you can see everyone's faces and reactions. Now I'll move this window and start the lesson. Of course, we'll work in Mozabook. So I'll show you how to share your computer screen. I'll need the window again. You can see a Share Screen button now. I have two screens and a few open windows, so I can select which screen or window I'll share. And that's it. The images of the participants can still be found in another window. They haven't disappeared. They're both here. So let's start the lesson with Jolt and Ildiko. I'll use the Mozobook software. If you click on the participants, every person in the Zoom call will appear in a small window. 
you can see if they've joined with audio and video. Students can mute their microphones, and they can also raise their hands. Please raise your hands now. As students raise their hands, small blue hand icons will appear on the teacher's screen. Ildiko has not raised her hand yet. Now she's raising her hand as well. That's how you know if someone has a question. They've only raised their hands because I've asked them to. Teachers can also mute their students' microphones or unmute them to interact with them. Let's see how Mozabook can be used within an online class. I want to emphasize that Mozabook works exactly as if you were standing in front of an interactive board. That means you can click on parts of the page to enlarge them, and you can highlight the most important parts of the text. You can also reinsert the highlighted parts into the textbook. Moreover, every tool and game can be used as you would in a regular lesson. Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozaBook and MozaWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozaweb.com and scroll down to the page to find the Can We Help You menu item. Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.